My name is Renee Milne, and it's my honor to serve as the Associate Vice President for Student Services at Bridgerland Technical College. On behalf of the college, I want to welcome you to our semi-annual graduation. Please head to your seats and also squish in. I imagine there's some people in the foyer still, so we're just going to wait a few moments, and then we will begin our program. For those of you just coming in, it looks like there's um, quite a few empty seats near the top, and you'll probably have the best view. And where there's a reserve sign, we need those for the graduates. We're taking every single seat in the middle for our graduates. Sorry, I wasn't trying to call you out. I was just making an announcement. It looks like there's still about three rows at the top on each side that are empty. Those of you that are just coming in, if you could please go to the very top, there's a ton of empty seats so we can start. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. We ask that our guests please stand as the graduates enter. After all the graduates have taken their places, please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Logan City Fire Department Honor Guard.
students, will you still, will you stand, please? Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The audience may be seated. Thank you so much for being here this evening. And we are thrilled to fill this venue. Thank you so much for being here. I would like to introduce our special guests who are here seated on the stage. From our Utah System of Higher Education Board, we have Jessely Anderson, Vice Chair. Corianne Gibson, student board member, Scott Tyre, board member, and Taylor Adams, who is our associate commissioner for strategic initiatives. From Bridgerland, we have our student speaker, Cody Guadarrama. Guest speakers are board of trustees, president-elect Nancy Kennedy, our faculty and staff, President Chad Campbell, and vice president for instruction, Lisa Moon. We would like to thank these community members for volunteering their time to advocate for our students, our employers, and for technical education. They lend their experience in helping guide the success of the college and in raising funds to help support student scholarships and obtain technical equipment. We also want to express our sincere appreciation to the regional career and technical education directors for their collaboration, and of course to Utah State University for allowing us to use this beautiful venue. To accommodate our year-round open entry enrollment, the college holds a graduation ceremony two times a year, this one and one in December. Due to space limitations, the college also holds program-specific graduations for practical nursing, which was last night, police academy, fire and rescue services, and paramedic programs throughout the year. Tonight, we have 682 students who earned their credentials. And last I was told we had about 220 walking. So that's why we saved some extra seats. Obviously some people are at work, which is what we want. Get in, get out, get a job. There are two different groups of students graduating this evening that I'd like to call your attention to. So students, listen, because you're gonna have to stand up, some of you. The first are the high school students who completed their college certificate prior to high school graduation. And they have a medallion that is black. Look down and if you have a medallion that's black, would you please stand up? Can we give them a round of applause?
Thank you. You guys can sit down. What an accomplishment to have a college certificate and a high school diploma in the same year. The next group are our platinum performers. These are students who were chosen by their instructors because they have shown exemplary workmanship in the programs throughout their experience at Bridgerland. They've demonstrated a positive atti attitude to learn and willingness to take direction from their instructors. They also reach out to help their peers. They have completed the curriculum at the highest academic level and have maintained exceptional attendance. The medallion for the platinum performers is red and I believe there's a dozen of you. Would you please stand? <laughs> Congratulations. They're also getting a monetary award from Cash Valley Bank. Right? Yeah. There's one other group I'd like to recognize. These are first generation graduates. That means you are the first to graduate in your family from college. Would you please stand up? Special thanks to our welding technology students and the marketing department for creating and providing every graduate a Bridgerland medallion. A final special thanks to our graduation committee for planning this wonderful event. All right, our first speaker is Cody Guadarrama, and afterwards, President Campbell will introduce our next speaker. I'd like to begin by expressing my gratitude to President Campbell and the administration here at Bridgerland for inviting me to share my story as a former student in the machining technology program. Thank you. Good evening to everyone here, here in attendance. My name is Cody Guadarrama. Before continuing forward with my education experience, it is necessary to acknowledge the role models I'm proud to call my parents, Hector and Rebecca. As teenagers, my parents immigrated to the United States with a dream and willingness to work tirelessly for a brighter way of life. They never accepted handouts, but rather relied on their own grit and determination to achieve the American dream. On their journey, days existed where their next meal wasn't promised. Meanwhile, I'm here skinny because I plain don't eat much. Despite the adversities they encountered among the working class of American citizens, they remained resilient generous, honest, and kind-hearted people. They have paved the way for me to receive the education and opportunities that they never had. For this, I'm eternally grateful, and I ask myself, what is my excuse for not achieving my dreams? At an early age, I became fascinated with developments in technology, specifically with military emphasis. I recount my elementary school librarian querying my mom about the first grader requesting a special order of military books. My curiosity to become further acquainted with the technology around us was amplified from periodic visits to museums such as Hill Aerospace, Clark Planetarium, and California Science Center. As a child, I knew my place in the future involved a career in the technology sector. In 2018, I started freshman year at Skyview High School with the intention of pursuing a career in aerospace engineering. After discussing my plans with an academic counselor, I was given a pamphlet listing courses offered to eligible juniors and seniors to attend Bridgeland during high school. Carefully reading each description, I decided the machining technology program had aligned closest to my interests and offered the path to explore a STEM-related field. As freshman year drew to a close, I saw additional avenues to create a firm background in engineering. My experience working with my dad at Wrightwood Egg Farm showcased the existing miscommunication in design between the electrical engineers and the electricians. Callouts in the blueprint were modified by the electricians because of impracticality in the wiring of a new chicken coop. I saw additional ways to bridge the gap of experience in aerospace engineering 
and after much discussion between my parents and I, the summer of 2020 marked the beginning of my private pilot instruction at Leading Edge Aviation. I entered my junior year of high school with two of five classes reserved for machining technology. I quickly understood the impactful opportunity Bridgeland offers to anyone, specifically the ability to build a specialized background for a career and attain experience at a young age, and the vibrant relationships Bridgeland demonstrates with local businesses. Additionally, during the summer, high school students are invited to progress further in their education. Having this option was beneficial to me since my machining job was nearby. Through tremendous efforts from my instructor, Vance Briggs, Bridgeland became one of two schools in the state of Utah to collaborate with the NASA Hunch program in 2021. This program enables young students to collaborate as a team within distinctive branches of the program, such as biomedical science, design and prototype, and culinary. Our class participated in the hardware component. The Hunch program does not hold short of having students machine parts for them, but it also simulates the environment of an authentic NASA engineering team. This team is composed of drafters, programmers, machinists, quality assurance, and a manager. Our class was tasked with producing 15 IVA handrails for the International Space Station. These rails aid in the mobility of astronauts inside the station. As manager, I saw an opportunity to apply a useful leadership style that was discussed in the class I was taking. My approach was similar to a laissez-faire manner during drafting, the first phase of production. I chose this style because it allowed my team to have full autonomy. I wanted to create an atmosphere where team members felt confident and motivated to bring out their drafting skills and talents. I gathered ideas, concepts, and problems from each individual to discuss at future group meetings. A team member's keen attention to detail highlighted an error in the Blueprint's transition to CAD software. The engineers at NASA were notified and promptly corrected their mistake. The production of a successful piece was not simply shipped back to Houston. A rigorous amount of paperwork must be documented and attached to confirm its validity. I understood signing my name on documentation with just one discrepancy would be rejected and reflect negatively on my team and my managerial duties. I'm proud to share that all 15 IVA handrails were accepted and produced on time. Shortly after graduating from Skyview, I returned to progress further in my machining course at Bridgeland. I'm grateful for the ability to pick right where I left off from high school. My career aspiration shifted from aerospace engineering to data analytics. A presentation by Chris Corcoran, professor of analytics here at Utah State, led to my enrollment in the Huntsman's data analytic program last fall. The pathway with data analysis and machining lies closer to my passion, which is the ability to create or assist in the creation of something meaningful and useful to the world. Currently, I'm on track to graduate in 2025. On April 17th of this year, I earned my machinist certificate, and that same day went to search for employment. A recent interviewer asked the question, what is your proudest achievement? In this moment, I recalled proudly representing my Skyview High School as a Sterling Scholar, maintaining a cumulative 4.0 GPA, but most meaningful in my response to the question was being the recipient of the Citizenship Award. While academic and personal achievements are certainly something to be proud of, it's the relationships we build with others that truly define us as individuals. Whether it's through acts of kindness, teamwork, or simply being a good listener, Fostering positive connections with our neighbors can lead to a richer, more fulfilling life. Thank you. So on behalf of the faculty, our staff, and all of our students, it's my honor and privilege to get to introduce our guest speaker this evening. But before I do that, I want to take one second and tell, uh, say thank you to Cody one more time. This is the second time in less than a month Cody has represented the college by giving uh, a talk or a speech in front of an audience like this or a large group like this. 
Just a few weeks ago, he spoke on behalf of the college to the Utah Board of Higher Education. And I think he represents Bridgerland and, and our students, uh, other students very well. Okay, let, let me introduce Nancy real quick. Nancy is a native Utahn who is passionate about education. She graduated from USU with a degree in secondary education, worked with, I think it went. thank you, excuse me. She graduated from USU with a degree in secondary education. She worked with Senator Orrin Hatch in Washington, D.C. Then after serving an LDS mission to Spain, returned to Logan to teach at USU. She's a current member of the Box Elder Board of Education, serves as president-elect of the Bridgeland Technical College Board, and is chair of the Utah State Trust Lands Advisory Committee. She has five terrific kids, four great in-laws, and eight, and soon to be 10 grandchildren, the oldest of whom is five years old. It's mayhem when they all get together. She's married to Ken Kennedy, originally of Randolph, Utah, and maybe my favorite accomplishment for her, she was named the Utah Mother of the Year. Will you please join me in welcoming Nancy Kennedy to be our speaker this evening? Thank you. Thank you, Chad, for that kind introduction. It is a great pleasure for me to be here tonight. Having been in education for most of my life, I've had the privilege to attend many of these events. I like them more when I'm not speaking, but I do love the energy, enthusiasm, and optimism that permeates every part of a graduation. I love to look at the parents, grandparents, and friends of the graduates. They are so proud of you. They know the long hours that you've put into getting this certificate. I love to see the teachers and administration smiling, another crop of successful students sent out into the world bearing the title Bridgerland Technical College graduate. All of you have made the sacrifice to commit to your education, and I applaud you for your vision. You've proven to the world and to yourself that you can do hard things. There's a poem that my dad used to quote. Many of you will probably will recognize it as well, but it's called The Builder. I saw them tearing a building down, a group of men in my hometown. With a yo heave ho and a lusty yell, they swung a ball and the whole wall fell. I said to the foreman, are these men skilled as the ones you'd hire if you were to build? He laughed and said, oh no indeed. The simplest labor is all I need. He said, I can tear down in a day or two what builders have taken years to do. And I thought to myself as I walked away, which of these roles have I tried to play? Am I the wrecker who walks my town content with the labor of tearing down? Or am I the builder who works with care and my town is better because I've been there? I contend that as graduates of Bridgerland Technical College, you are precisely the builders of the towns that you will go into. You have the knowledge and skills to get things done. You are the hands-on professionals with certificates in every aspect of life. You are the doers and the movers and the shakers. Think about the programs that are offered here at Bridgerland. Business, computers, transportation, design and development, food services, medical, dental, manufacturing, construction, public services, personal care, vet techs. What would happen in our towns and our lives if just one of these areas ceased to have skilled individuals performing those services? The certificates that you are now, that you now hold are essential to the proper functioning of all of our lives and our society. Now, as a mom, I would be remiss if I didn't give some advice when I have a captive audience that you cannot leave. Um, graduation is also called commencement. This graduation isn't the end, it is just the beginning and you are commencing on your greatest journey yet, your lives. 
I like that we use a, a word that means progress and growth when we celebrate the end of this one achievement. There are jobs out there that didn't exist when you started school, and, advance, and with advances in technology, we are doing things almost unimaginable even five years ago, with AI five months ago. You have been taught and prepared how to learn and figure things out. Don't ever stop learning and growing, or you will be left behind. William Shakespeare wrote, we know what we are, but know not what we may be. Your future is bright and the opportunities are only as limited as your imagination. About 15 years ago, maybe longer, um, I taught interior design here at Bridgerland. Last month, in a fit of ambition, I pulled out all my old files and decided to go through and see what was still relevant. You would think that with interior design, other than like colors and styles, that most of it would remain the same. And I was stunned to discover that with only the history of design, everything else in my teaching files were obsolete. New fibers, new fabrics, materials, home technology, computerized building systems, electronic everything. The two by fours and sheetrock have stayed about the same in 15 years, but almost everything else is new and improved. I could not do my job today if I tried to use what was once cutting edge instruction. Stay up to date in your own field and, if you, and also learn about things happening in other industries. And if you need a tune-up or a new outlook on life, come back and we'll give you the updates that will propel you even further. Education is a lifetime pursuit. Henry Ford once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning is young. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I congratulate you on your achievements and graduation. Your future is bright. Go forth and make us proud. Thank you, Nancy. We appreciate that. Our next speaker is Taylor Adams. Over the past decade, Taylor Adams has worked in various student affairs, teaching, and administrative roles in Utah, and most recently serves as an associate commissioner of the Utah System of Higher Ed. She is currently leading efforts to increase education access opportunities for communities across the state and create meaningful pathways through education and into the workforce. Taylor is a proud local advocate for Bridgerland Technical College and its students, having recently served on the board for five years. Please join me in welcoming Taylor. Well, good evening. Thank you, President Campbell, for inviting me to celebrate tonight. Most of our colleagues here at Bridgerland Technical College know that you all are near and dear to my heart, and I'm so excited to be here to celebrate you all tonight. Many of you are probably wondering, after Renee's great introduction, who is this person, and what is the Utah system of higher education? Aren't we here tonight to celebrate our Bridgerland Tech College graduates? Well, I want to tell you a little bit about our system before I get into congratulations. The system is governed by the Utah Board of Higher Education, some of whose members are here tonight, and it includes all 16 public institutions across the state, Bridgerland Technical College being one of those, and other technical colleges, community colleges, regional universities, and research universities. The work that we get to do every day is dedicated to opening our doors in higher education for students, helping them complete in a timely manner, and getting them out into the workforce to have that social and economic mobility that we know education provides. In addition to doing that work on a daily basis, it's this time of year when we get to go to commencement ceremonies across the state. My colleagues and I, along with the board, get to celebrate thousands and thousands of students in Utah that are doing just what you did, earning credentials like certificates and also degrees within our system to carry on, be in the workforce and be successful. But I do have to admit that this one is one of my most favorites to attend. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight because I understand very closely the impact that this technical college and all of you as graduates have on our community. 
As a local Cache Valley resident, I am a benefactor of the work that you all are going to do in your daily lives and are already starting and that some of your colleagues who couldn't make it tonight are already doing. I know there are many of you that are going to go out and be health professionals, paramedics and firefighters. There's more of you who are going to be solving the world's problems in technology, in computer software, IT, IT and web development and cybersecurity. I know that I'm going to run into you in the community because I do on almost a weekly basis cross paths with the Bridgerland Technical College graduate, whether I'm getting my hair cut, I'm at the local meat counter at my grocery store buying something delicious to eat to feed my family, I'm taking my kids to the dentist or my dog in for a checkup. I know that many of you are going to keep our community running as electricians and plumbers, HVAC technicians, manufacturers, and machine technologists. The list can go on and on, and Nancy already mentioned quite a few of the programs that are offered today. Each and every one of you will keep this valley and this state functioning. Now, I also know something about you that has changed within the past five to 10 years of technical college graduates. Some of you are going to take the credential you earned today, like our friend Cody, and take it to Utah State University and stack the credential that you've already earned and the time and effort you've already spent in education into a degree. And we now can do that at not only Utah State University, but institutions across the state. I'm so excited for you and what's to come. I speak on behalf of the Utah system of higher education when I congratulate you tonight, not only for an amazing accomplishment that it was to get to now, but for all of the goals that you're going to reach in the workforce and in our community. Now, I don't know about you, I can hear this buzz of excitement and some kids screaming, which I love. I think it's really important. And I'm, I didn't ask for permission to do this, but I. I think it's time to get a little bit cheerful and loud. So on the count of three, what I'd really like to hear happen is I would love for the audience tonight who's here celebrating graduates to celebrate, but you all here are looking way too serious right now. So I would also like the students to take this opportunity to cheer for themselves, for their colleagues around them, and also for the people in the audience today who made this happen. So while I find my way back to my seat, I'm gonna count to three, and I want you to rock the socks of, off of Utah State University, and I wanna hear you cheer. One, two, three. Is anybody else hot in here? Whew, it's hot. All right. I think it's because we have such a full facility, so it's awesome. Thank you, Taylor. Now, the time you've been waiting for, the presentation of the graduates. We will have the graduates be excused row by row by one of our staff members, so keep your eyes on her, and come to the stage, and you'll exit the opposite side, and there will be people to help you. Um, I think we're ready to go. And we're gonna go alphabetically by program. Advanced Emergency Medical Technician. I just like to double check here, Hannah. Yes, Marie Ziles. Zillis. Zillis. Uh, Hannah Marie Zillis.
Animal Sciences. Connor, Jesse, Cole. Danielle, Catherine Coleman. Oh. Abby K. Hadley. Emmy Jenkins. Kasia Ann Lemon. <laughs> Tasia McFarland. Jacob, Scott, Meekum, and he's our platinum performer. Kailia, Kailia. Kailia May Menlove. Aubrey Rowley. <laughs> Tiani Page Skinner. <laughs> Bailey Lynn Stubbs. Alyssa McKay Sweat. Our next program is Apprentice Plumber. Colby David Christiansen? Yep, Christiansen. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's right. <laughs> Colby David Christiansen. Our next program is Auto Collision. I barely recognize it's not a baseball hat, huh? Brendan Kirk Dimmick. Okay. Brendan Kirk Dimmick. <laughs> Justin Cody McKee. Jacob George Nelson. Our next program is Automated Manufacturing. Alberto Camacho. Francisco Marquez. Preston Neil Mortensen, and he's our platinum performer and also graduating controls engineering. Congratulations. Our next program is Automotive Service 2. Christian Armando Hernandez. <laughs> Sam
Samuel Jared Jenkins. Jesse Christian Stock. <laughs> Our next program is Building Technology. Colby Marion Byington. Thank you. David Michael Earhart. Matthew James Hunting. John Fielding Coons. Christopher Alexis Manzo. Zachary Robert Ogden, and he is our platinum performer. <laughs> and Joseph William Windsor. Sorry. Our next program is business technology. Macy Newman, and she's our platinum performer, and we also just hired her to teach for us. How do you say your name? Pino. Pino? Yep, Vienna. Vienna? Yep. Okay. Hinock, Vienna. Aaron Pandagani. <laughs> Christina Paz. Yes. Christina Paz. Yep. Kimberly Sines. Tylee Smith. Controls. Our next program is Controls Engineering Technology. Aiden Joseph Ames. Sierra Nicole Bur Brookshire. She's our platinum performer and is also graduating from automated manufacturing. Ben Ross Kelly. Ben Ross Kelly. And Brian Walsh. Our next program is Cosmetology Barbering. Isabel Bundy. Isabel Bundy. Van Belagui. Van Belagui. Caitlin Van Belagui. Our next program is Culinary Arts. Um, you can just say Jose Cabrera Nash. Okay. Jose Cabrera Nash. Bricia Estrada. Thank you. 
Suzanne Gafari, and she's our platinum performer. Yeah. Ellen Glenn. I love your hat. Cadence Nichols. And Jade Peebley. Our next program is dental assisting. What? It's not highlighted. I apologize. Data analytics. Noah Durr. Okay, now we'll do dental assisting. Daniela Ariano Piedra. Brittany Lindquist. Braxton Ritter Limpke. Daisy Rodriguez. Our next program is Diesel. <laughs> I know, right? I don't even recognize them in our desk. Aria May Dea. Aria May Dea. Hayden Farmer. Allison. Allison Hardy. Jackson Norton. Tegan. Tegan Whitaker. Hunter Young. Our next program is drafting. Michael. Michael Caleb Fink. Adam Mitchell. <laughs> Emily Ruth Zog. Our next program is Electronic Engineering Technology. Matthew Durant. Matthew Durant. John Field. I like your name. John Field. Sheldon Redman. Our next program is Emergency Medical Technician. Cassie Cook. 
Cassidy Cook. Connor Fowers. Faith Harvey. Allison Hillman. Josh Keith. Madison Moore. Madison Moore. Megan Nybert. Isabella Perez. Kimball Smith. Braden Speth. Braden Speth. <laughs> Dallin Speth, and he's also graduating as a nursing assistant. Shaley Both. Our next program will be fashion merchandising and development. Shirley Albright. Sarah Anderson, and she's also our platinum performer. Dallin Florence. <laughs> Janice Flores. <laughs> Catherine Gilbert Cobran. Cherokee Savage. <laughs> and Kennedy Waldron. <laughs> Our next program will be heavy equipment operator. Shane Fickus. And Clayton Jensen. Our next program is interior design. Ava Perkins. Estefania Watts. And she's also our platinum performer. Our 
Our next program is IT and cybersecurity. Carson Ryan Andrews. Landon Hour. <laughs> Alan Estes. <laughs> Dylan Meeker. Ethan, Ethan Mortensen. Jacob Nelson. Tanner Peterson. Jacob Waring. And Tanner Yates. Our next program is machining technology. Robert, Robert Thomas Anderson. <laughs> Braden Deshaw. Cody Guadarrama. <laughs> Dustin Hallett. <laughs> Michael Lopez. <laughs> and Alistair Robbins. Our next program is Master Aesthetics. Brittany Cutler. Brittany Cutler. Those hats are team. Brittany Etchell. Bailey Starr. Our next program is Media Design. Edison and Zora. <laughs> Bailey Daniels. <laughs> Haven Fritzler, also our platinum performer. <laughs> Alexis Henry. John Olson. Brinley Rhodes. Brinley Rhodes. Saldivar. Elizabeth Saldivar. Our next program is medical assisting. Amber Jane Anderson. <laughs> Anna
Angela Arietta. Madison Yule. Whitney Haroldson. <laughs> Kelly Hill, and she's our platinum performer. <laughs> Tyson Hodges. Bridger Sorensen. Morgan. And Morgan Wise. Nursing. Our next program is Nursing Assistant. Hayden Bauer. Brooklyn Blazer. Stephanie Nicole Cespedes. Melissa Eggleston. Genica Hernandez. Addison, Addison Loveland. Ingrid Miranda. Tylen Nelson. Destiny Proctor. Fernanda. Fernanda Rodriguez. Giselle Rogel. Lisa Shirley. <laughs> Melanie Stevenson. <laughs> Callie Humans. Our next program is Pharmacy Technician. Tyron Fertig. Yeah. Abby King. Yeah. Kayla Molina. Yeah. Lily Morrison, and she's our platinum performer. Yeah. And Jaden Palmer. Our next program is phlebotomy. Um, Alyssa Blanchard. Yeah. Okay. Alyssa Blanchard. Yeah. Tristan Lynn King, and she's our platinum performer. Yeah. Rebecca Dawn Stivers. and Rachel Wolfley. Our next program is real estate. Brian Diaz. Okay. Brian Diaz. <laughs> and Haley Johnson. 
Our next program is therapeutic massage. Desiree Bragger. Tiffany Clark. Yes. Tiffany Clark. Rachel, Rachel Dursteller. <laughs> Haley Helco. Mickelson. Hannah Mickelson. <laughs> Levi Peterson. Aspen Porter. Yeah! Carly, Stark. Carly Stark. Warwick. And Esther Warwick, who is our platinum performer. Our next program is web and mobile development. Hollis Barlow. Yeah! Keverin. Keverin de Spain. Yeah! Brant Harrison. Brant Harrison. Andrea Higley. Andrea Higley. Malmgren. Nice. Gage Malmgren. Jacob Price. Rachel. Rachel Redden. Steve Restrepo. Sierra Tweed. Richard. Richard Woodworth, who just told me we hired him too. Our next program is welding technology. Are you Jeffrey Anderson? Okay. Jeffrey Anderson. Taryn, Taryn Bunderson. Kiana Charlie. Kiana Charlie. Yeah. You want me to say Gabby Nichols? Gabby Nichols. Are you Jack? Jack Crockett. Thank you. Stockton Flammer. Jonathan. Jonathan Gillette, and he's our platinum performer. Jacob. Jacob Henderson. Nathan. Nathan Huffman. Jake Jensen. Kai. Kai Jensen. Levi. Levi Jensen. Mace. How do you say your last name? Cruzy. Cruzy? Mm -hmm. Mace Cruzy. Leon. Shelly Leon. I love your necklace. Oh, you. Shelly Leon. Skylar Loebner. <laughs> Delane Locke. <laughs> Riker Lott. <laughs> Isaac Macias. Mason, Mason Morris. Nelson? Yep. McLean Nelson. Cash Owens. Cash Owens. 
Wyatt Pitcher. Caleb Shiraki. Kip. Kip Stock. Espen Tuller. And Espen Tuller. That is, that is the end of our graduates receiving their credentials. Can we give them one more round of applause? We are so proud of you to be graduates from Bridgerlands. And we hope you will come back, like Nancy said. And we hope you will thank your family and friends for supporting you, like Taylor said. If you happen to post any pictures tonight, would you please tag the college? We'd love to see them. Also, as you're leaving, we have quite a few backdrops in the foyer. We have one that says Bridgerland alumni, because now you've graduated. You could have your picture in front of. Um, you can uh, just come up here and take some pictures, and then we'll just have to clear everything out. Um, students, there's one last thing you have to do. Our Vice President for Instruction, Lisa Moon, will conduct that part. Congratulations, students. On behalf of the college, your instructors, your family, and your friends, we are so very proud of you. I believe if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. The world is calling you. Your education was a dress rehearsal, but now you're moving into real life. Let your dreams be your wings. I know you thought you were finished with tests, but we thought we'd give you one more tonight because we know that's your favorite thing about education. You all have a tassel on the right of your cap. It signifies your time as a student at Bridgerland Technical College. It's now time to transition from student to graduate. So reach up, grab a hold of the tassel, and on the count of three, you're going to move it to the left. Ready? One, two, three. Congratulations, you are now a Bridgerland Technical College graduate. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you so much for joining us to celebrate this milestone. We hope that you travel home safely and enjoy the rest of your evening.